Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hout Baylor on here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, C. Waddy. If you watched the last episode in the series, you will know I had all manner of fun and games trying to place this sodding cow here. Um, and in the end, it's 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 in. It's not brilliant. Uh, I have since the last episode completely removed the grass field that was here because it looked terrible. So now, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some cows and fill it. I'm still a little bit annoyed I didn't get me a red one in the end, but hey-ho. Um, right, cows then. What do I want? Uh, well, I can have 300, can't I? So if I have... If I have 30 of each... That'll be a lot. That'll be 120 cows. What have I just got money for? I sold some eggs. Right. I've got moo cows now. Right. I suppose next thing then. I need to get some food for them. Um, what do they eat? Uh... uh what are they gonna what are they gonna want from me? Um Grass, hay, and total mixed ration. Well total mixed ration could be a problem. That could be a massive problem. Um Grass we can probably do. Uh if we go to the store. We go to bales. I think I can buy bales. I'm going to buy 24. That's going to cost me 28 grand. 156,000 litres. Do I need that many? Buy eight. So that's 52,000 litres, right? Then they want hay, don't they? So let's get double. Get 16 of those. Right. Next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to fetch those. Just so happens, ladies and gents, I've bought myself a trailer. Now... Can I not pick up square bales? Not with this trailer, apparently. Hmm. I think that trailer is not right. I could go get my own trailer. My own stacker. Mm. I'm guessing some of these auto load mods haven't been updated to the fact that the auto load specialization mod can now do bales. Well, that one I bought. Let's try that one. That might have been the one I just bought. And if so, I've, I've wasted money buying it again. But I could have sworn they're supposed to do square bales now. No, still not. Hmm. 
That didn't work. Maybe I'll take the Rolland. We'll grab one of them then. These I know will auto load. Perfect. Ah, TMR I don't have to worry about, do I? Because we've got the robot. The robot can mix it for me. Right, now if I... Now, Pong... This is the Roland pack. Still doesn't have flipping straps. How annoying. Here's a public, uh, public request to all mod makers out there. If you're going to make trailers for bales, transporting bales and transporting pallets, please put straps on them. It's not very sensible to have transporting objects when you can't strap stuff down. Uh, I need to go back because I've missed my turning. Right, now these are going into the normal food trough to start with. Is that actually going to fit in there? Yeah. No. <laughs> Are they filling up? Well, filling up slowly. Ding. 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 These look to be all hay bales to me. Yes, we're bringing you food. It takes a while. sure what's going on right um unlike bales i can't move it backwards that 
that's a problem. I know how to do this. Slightly unorthodox method. Oh, yeah, you're eating the bales. Good. Good. You keep eating the bales because you need to get big and strong, cows. Um, we may be in a position now by whereby we've eaten too much. Can we load these in here? We can. Waste not, want not, ladies and gents. Put hay in there. Might take that grass bale and feed that one to the sheep, I think. I don't know if this will go into any of these containers over here or not. No, it doesn't go in that one. No, obviously it won't go in that one. Right. So we need to take these to the cat, uh, sheeps. That bale? Can I get in my tractor? Right. So we, I'm going to have to bring some straw down, obviously. Um, I don't know if we've got any straw at the minute. I think I sold it all. If I've sold it all, I'll just buy some straw bales. I think that'll work. Yeah, you've got grass bales. No, you could do with a grass bale. You can have that one. Right, let's think then. What do we want? We want some more bales. So let's go with hay bales again. Let's get, I don't know, 12? 14 hay bales? Fourteen. Straw bales. Silage I've got myself. If I want to do TMR, I can do. Oh, that doesn't hold all the bales. Yes, it does.
Now I want to see if I can load these into the into the correct area. <laughs> and this lovely June morning. With my three range cows, ladies and gents. It worked. It kind of worked. Straw perhaps didn't fill up quite as much as the hay did. Oh, it's a straw bale. like that that's good we can we can deal with that right we need some silage now ladies and gents um this fella's got silage This fella's got 66, 66,600 litres of silage. I've remembered to update me uh, Pottinger pack today. So now I've got the proper capacity on my trailer. <laughs> on my loading wagon. Six hundred and sixty six thousand meters. No, sixty six thousand six hundred liters, not sixty six six hundred and sixty six thousand liters. That'd be a lot. That'd be like over half a million. That would be too much. Got all my honey pallets to shift as well. Bit of a bump there now. So yeah, they, they are completely full of food at the minute. It's mostly hay and grass. Until they've ate some of that, the, um, 
they're not going to have TMR because they've got no room for it. There we go, ladies and gents. Is he, um... Robot roboting? Is he being filled up by the crane? That would be kind of cool. Don't see the crane moving as yet, but normally it does. Oh, look at our moo moos! Moos. Cows are in. Right, next job. Let's go get rid of the um, honey pallets. Make some money. In one sense, I'm kind of happy I chose not to place the cow pen here at the farm. <laughs> that was one idea I originally had. I was going to place it on this, this field here. But given all the issues I had with the terrain going all wonky and stuff, I'm pleased I chose not to do that. Because I'd have ended up destroying my farm. There we go. 24 grand. Next stop, Cheese Factory. Let's see how many it spawns. Could be quite a bit. Wow. A load of cheese. Uh, what we'll do is go to the bakery first, though, because we've got butter. We've got butter. We've got the butter. Well. And obviously the bakery could do with some butter. Um. And then what we can do, we can unload all the stuff and then uh, reload it and get some bread and cakes and stuff to send up to the farm shop those fermiers pallet drop placey thing so if I unload that A little bit of bread there. Got a few cakes. 
I think we can get some more, you know. Right, that's full. Um, so yeah, Fermier's pallet drop, off we go. Now, I know everybody's going to scream at me. About the cows. And that I haven't placed a uh, manure pit. For doing manure. You're quite right. I haven't. Um, there's a reason for that. Because I don't want to. <laughs> You were expecting that answer, was you, ladies and gents? Yeah, uh, if, if I give the cows a manure pit, then it's just another job. I've got to then provide them with more straw to mix with the poop, make the manure, and then it's another thing that I've got to clear and empty out. And frankly, I'm not that forced for the manure. I don't see me using it, and it, to be honest, doesn't sell for that much money. Uh, main reason for having the cows for me is the milk. head back to the bakery we'll pick up another load of stuff Hit the pallets. All right, let's see what we get. Load us up. That's me limit, apparently. That's a lot of cakes. That's a lot of cake. Well, that's a complete disaster. <sighs> Thankfully, we have strong arms, ladies and gents. Solve that issue. It's 
13,000 cakes. Wow. A lot of cakes, ladies and gents, on our lovely strawberry cream gatto things. Not sure I would be inclined to eat those in real life. Doesn't look all that appealing to me. Not the sort of cake I would eat. Definitely not. Money. Money. Money, money, money. We're in the calm now. The calm before the summer balmy season starts. Of all the harvesting. Part this back at the sheeps because I think the next time I skip time, Polly will need to do the wall again. I'm gonna guess. Just gonna have to quickly go and do the honey pallets again because they have appeared like an RKO out of nowhere. It's only going to get worse because I'm going to have to play, as I buy more fields, I'm going to have to buy more honey pallets. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to buy more beehives to provide the bonus to the fields. So I'm going to have to buy more beehives soon. Or what I might decide to do is relocate some of those ones. I might sell some of those and start to relocate them. In which case, I might put the um, honey pallet spawning area somewhere else on the map. See, that, that area there has got a lot of wall. I do like my cows, though, ladies and gents. I can't tab into that. Seems weird. Why well, can't I just hit enter? But yeah, we got our cows. Uh, I might need to go buy some mineral feed. Because I don't have any of that. I'm going to need to look. I might need to put some loose straw in there. 
I mean, if I was going to place the manure spreader thing, the manure heap, where does it go? Now, where do we, we, we where do we place it? Not giving me a prompt to allow me to place that for some reason. Uh, it's that one I want, isn't it? Well, that's okay, but I didn't really want that there, did I? Okay. Silo extensions. Oh. Manure heap. Would like one. There. There. I have to use the free place then. As long as it won't let me place it where I wanted it. Right, painting. Some animal mud. I'll be a bit of animal mud in the uh, in area. That'll do nicely. Now we just need harvest season, ladies and gents, to come along. Um, because then harvest season will give us, um, you know, what we need. So what is going to be the first thing to harvest? Well, barley apparently is ready now, but I don't think I'm doing any barley, am I? No, I did chose not to plant barley this year. So it's going to be July before we get any straw to collect. Uh, my grapes aren't going to be ready till September. Hmm. So on that wicked bombshell, ladies and gents, we might be leaving things here for the time being. Just seeing how the cows cope. And like we say, we'll have to give the, provide them with the, the missing bits and pieces 
later on in the year when we uh, uh, are able to get hold of it. So, thank you everybody for watching today's episode. Really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back again very soon with another episode and some more great content. Until then, goodbye for now. I'll try and sort that out as well off camera. That area there. Make it less lumpy. <laughs>